parking space. Real estate that's more precious than you think. Parking space is more than just an afterthought, as it has long been mandated by laws and regulations to be part of the building design. There should be a certain number of parking slots per square meter of floor area or per number of usable contained units. It's a result to a ratio that's always thought to be minimal, but parking spaces are more valuable than they're often perceived to be. I just saw a video about this and I was surprised to learn that New York has 18% of its land area dedicated to parking. I thought that was bad, but it was nothing compared to San Francisco's 31%, or even more so to Los Angeles's 81%. How accurate or updated these numbers are weighs little compared to the force of concern they have generated. The headquarters of Steve Jobs' Apple was aimed to be green with open spaces, plants, trees, natural lighting, less air conditioning, etc. But it has more parking area than office and laboratory area, 325,000 square meters versus 318,000 square meters. In Cupertino, apparently, one slot is required for every 285 square feet of office space. While building codes vary across cities or nations, the measure of relevance of our message should nary differ. Yes, we've given up enormous precious real estate to idle cars. Cars are essential, but not irreplaceable. Replaceability is our key word for the moment. There are opportunities being lost, and that is the high cost of parking spaces. To illustrate, let's take a look at Amsterdam and how they, intentionally, took out parking spaces and replaced them with more life-filled, vibrant, and scenic alternative uses. That is just to illustrate how a nation has seen the problem and provided alternatives as a solution. One fact I always highlight in this channel is that land is finite. There is a limited supply of it while the demand for it continues to grow. Land or real estate can be, in a sense, artificially increased by constructing vertically, meaning erecting buildings, but the fact remains there are competing uses for them. To cite a few of those uses essential to humans, we need land for food, spaces needed for pasture land, planting farms, and other agricultural activities, living spaces or homes, economic or money-making activities, offices, factories, shops, etc. Interconnectivity in forms of roads, rails, bike lanes, and walking paths. It's natural resources, keeping the ecological balance. As real estate professionals and students, let us be challenged with this dilemma. How should we allocate and prioritize land use? What proportion should parking spaces take? Parking is a real need while we need cars for mobility. Technology has provided some ways of coping with the high demand of parking spaces in high-value locations in the form of mechanized and automated systems. These are a few examples of such already in current use in many countries. Planners with sustainability in mind have advocated for the reduction of distances between major points of destinations. Additionally, alternative modes of mobility should be provided that are fast, efficient, safe, and can handle bigger volumes of commuters. Herein, the value of green design is elevated. Not only do we save on energy, but on many other resources, including land or real estate. In this channel, we are proud to think of ways on the best utilization of land and thereby helping in improving our lives. Real estate development is beyond land, concrete, glass, or steel, business architecture, and engineering. It's about us, people, and the lives we live.